Hello subscribers and future subscribers, I'm Karma Jolt. This game is Secret of Mana. And we just made it to a new location. Now what we want to do is leave, then come back. Because I'm out of items and shits. So let's, um, you know, sleep at an inn. Restore my HP. Um, can we find a town? Oh yeah, by the way, look at this big fucking continent. This thing used to be under the sea, and we, uh, you know, we unsunk it. It used to be the sunken continent, and we unsunk it. Well, it wasn't really we who did it. It was the Emperor character, who was pretending to be integral to the plot, but really every time we see him, he's like, Oh, uh, fancy running into you again. Fight one of my animals or my men. I'll see you later. And, like, we really don't see him all that much, you know? Anyway... My voice sounds a little different today, and it's because I have changed completely. Really, it's because I'm sick, like, again. Isn't that crazy? I do that a lot. I should stop. Anyway, let's not only get some items, <clears throat> but let's talk to Watts, because we got some orbs. I got some weapons to upgrade. This town smells like weapons. All right. Any new war orbs? Yeah, in fact, I can upgrade the Excalibur. There's something after that? Crazy. Ah, yes, the Masamune. The legendary sword that can split a mountain. Uh, if I'm making a Chrono Trigger reference. Okay, also this lance looks more like a sword than a lance, but I like it. So let's take a look at what our new weapons do. Raises number of crits? Oh, I hope that actually works and is not bugged or anything, because that sounds awesome. As a matter of fact, why don't I equip it right now on my friend, Trash. Um, and then this lady... This lady can get the pokey bit. Wait, no, she's got 69 offense with the whip. She can have that. Instead, I shall give the lance to Hulk. That's a big upgrade. 71 offense for the guy that, like, doesn't have a lot of offense? That's pretty good. Okay, now let's find an item shop. Maybe I should really be doing this off-camera because it's not fun to do or watch. Um, and there's a ton of lag. Holy shit. But I just need to find a place where I can buy nuts. It's not this. It'll probably be labeled. Okay, BRB. Okay, I, I needed to restock on Cup of Wishes before I, um, you know, did anything important. But now let's do something important, which is play Secret of Mana. It's very important to play video games. Uh, we're gonna head back to that, you know, unsunken continent, obviously, because it's like the new place. It's like the place that we weren't able to go to before, we can now access it. And even the the whole game is like, oh, the you know, the overworld map now has some some ominous music. We're just gonna change our whole style because of this island. You know what I'm trying to say. Like for some reason this is a big deal, okay? That's what I was trying to say. Holy shit, that guy got whacked. I guess it's because the Masamune raises number of critical hits. Nice one, trash, you did great. So, if I remember correctly, there's like this weird, there's like this crazy subway system that we have to access now. Um, and I, I think that's coming up real soon. Um, but basically now that we've unsunk this continent... Oh, I'm trying to charge up my spear, but I just realized that Hulk is level zero with the spear, so I, I can't. Anyway, look, there's a dungeon coming up, and I'll show you. Yo, can you harm this duck, please? Like, a little better than I can. Oh, Exploder. Hardly knew her. Shit, that did a lot for level 1 Exploder. Also, I love how often this duck is just, like, on his belly. How much HP does this thing have? Jeez, I'm just trying to kill it and run. Captain Duck gets whacked. Finally, thank you. Okay, let's go find us the next area. 
And like, a lot of enemies are using wall these days. Um, so magic is gonna suck against them. Or it's gonna be reflected. It's gonna be reflected back at me. Yeah, look at this. Look at how many enemies are using wall. It's like most of them. At least I can whack them. Metacrawler got whacked. That sounds like, uh, that sounds like a search engine thing. From the 90s. Well, good thing the fish are still easy to skewer. Yo, wait, did that fish shoot a missile? Maybe I underestimated the aquatic wildlife. Um, but now... It's like, it's weird how there's only a few parts of this continent that are still wet right now. Because it was underwater for presumably decades. At least. But yo, look at how crazy this area is. I'm gonna use that word a lot because I'm bad at adjectives right now. And somehow, like, you can see that this, uh... This little waterfall will, like, push you to the bottom, but it won't push you down this hole because there's an invisible guardrail. Ah, shit. Okay, I guess I will equip the axe for this segment. Because I think... I think these weird little, uh, crunchy rocks can only be killed with an axe. Yeah, there you go. A uh, treasure chest, you say? Oh, you know what's gonna happen here? You gotta run across so you don't get pushed down by the waterfall. Oh, that's just straight up a weapon orb. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, look at how satisfying this is. And you know what's stupid? Is if I hit this button, all the stuff that I just destroyed will regrow. What is the point of that? Uh, well, stay tuned to find out. I don't know. I can't explain it. I just think they did that for fun. Alright, that Masamune weapon. Which is like the legendary sword of numerous Square Enix games. Is pretty good. Who would have imagined? A bird? Let's hit him with magic. Uh, I bet he gets smacked by Earth type. Which is weird, because in Pokemon, flying types are, like, doubly resistant to Earth. Isn't that crazy? Uh, yep. Said the word crazy a bunch. Oh, apparently the sword can chop up those rocks, too. I- what are these, by the way? I call them rocks, but I'm just guessing. There might be some weird living coral thing. Um, hey, I'm gonna absorb some magic from this... From this metal crawler, out of screen. Because I want to get some MP back. One? Okay, well... That's an even transaction there. It only costs one to use, so I didn't lose anything there. As a matter of fact, I gained some experience with the Luna magic. Um, and I should do that more often. So, what about this dude? Do you think this guy, do you think this Basilisk has MP to absorb? One. Yeah, he had at least one. I think the Basilisk, if he drops a treasure chest, can give you a really cool piece of equipment. Uh, and memes need to be healed, because she just got bobbed. Uh, come to think of it, I might have just passed up Nico, who's like hanging out somewhere near that castle. And I think he's selling new armor these days. I hate how often my charge of attacks get interrupted by somebody looking at me funny. There we go. Eggatrice got whacked. Exactly. What did that thing just do? He jumped really high to evade. I mean, it worked, but it looked goofy as hell. Just like it. Yup, the legendary basilisk from the Harry Potter games. You know what? Maybe I'm going to try to manipulate a drop from that guy, so... Let me see if he can respawn. Well, well, maybe I'll figure it out later. Ah! Alright, let's go to the left, obviously. Oh, that looked like a thing that I needed to hit. That looked like a switch that I needed to hit. Okay, I'm, I'm actually going to see if I can manipulate a drop from this basilisk. Uh, okay, it looks like I messed it up, but I'll, I'll try it again some other time. I'll try it again if I see another basilisk. I think that dude drops, like, an armor 
um, or a, a ring or something that is really good. So... So I think, though, what I need to do is, like, hit that s that... Did you see that little... There's, like, something on the wall that I passed by. The last time I rode down the, uh... The waterfall. And I'm trying to get back there, but I guess I can't go this way. So let's try another direction. What is this guy's name? Oh, shit. Is that another Marma Blue, like from the, uh, from that last castle that we were at with Luna? That wasn't the last one. That was, that was two castles ago. There we go. Hit him with the axe. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna control Trash because he's doing a ton of damage now. With his Masamune. Bopped. Hulk got poisoned. 68 HP. I don't get it. Hey, there we go. Magic level up. Undyne reaches level 5. Okay, so I need to find a way to get back up this waterfall, essentially. Um. Oh, never mind. Okay, I thought for some reason that the sword could break this stuff. But I was wrong about that. I was under the wrong impression. Yo, that was a good hit for just like a single level zero attack. Okay, so... If I like hold up against... Yeah, if I hold up against the waterfall, I can move down it slowlier. And now we can come this way. Do I have to hit another switch? No, that wasn't it. It was this! Ha ha! Those other blocks that look different tricked me. Take that, octopus guy. Yo, a dragon boss? Haven't seen one of those in a while. They've been like weird plants that resemble Spore Spawn from the Metroid games. And like, you know, metal dudes on a motorcycle. Fierce Salamando. He's sitting in a pool of water. Hydra gets whacked. Yo, holy shit, 400 damage to that guy. Way to go, Hulk. Now hit him with the uh, lava wave. I don't know which one's the most efficient to use, but I imagine that it's Exploder. 433 for a cost of 3 MP. Let's see what Exploder does. Watch this do like 900 damage. 444. <clears throat> it only did slightly more damage. This one did 430 something, right? So this seems to be the most efficient. But I haven't tried Fireball, so... Wait, that did 346, so like maybe there's a crazy variance on that. Let's try Magic Absorb. He keeps regrowing his heads, too. One! I got one MP from that. Are you proud of me? Alright, let's try Fireball, see how much that does. I don't, I don't feel too bad wasting Hulk's... MP here. Okay, so I can't I can't exactly get accurate numbers because I think my magic damage is being added to Trash's sword strikes. So it looks like I'm doing 400 damage with a fireball when in reality I'm doing, you know, 250 plus whatever damage Trash is dealing. But hey, that creature exploded all over us and... Now we need a shower. I guess we could just rinse up right here. Got Whip's Orb. That was neat. And these people suddenly showed up. Look who's here. Prepare to... I'm gonna leave you in a little bit of suspense because it's mysterious. Enough, Anha. Oh, that is such typical Secret of Mana dialogue. Where they, they say like one word of a thought and someone's like, enough. That's plenty. We have no time for these children. Think what the Mana Fortress will do to them. Let's go. Ha. Huh. Yeah, okay, I'm thinking about it. It's actually pretty funny. Coming. Oh, I'll get you little beasts yet. Solar Flare. I can't see anything. Let's go. I can't see anything. Let's go. 
I love that juxtaposition of sentences. I love that sequence of thought. Um, did I get my MP back? I didn't. Well, let's see if I can MP absorb a kimono wizard. I wanna I wanna find an enemy that I can absorb more than one MP from. Fifteen! Yeah, baby! Let's do this shit. Thanks for the MP. Now I'm gonna bop you with some crystals. Um, you know what? Why don't I analyze these metal crawlers? Because those guys are sort of a pain in the ass. No? She not doing it? Try it now. Sometimes you have to cast multiple times. Oh, it repelled the magic! Wait, I want to know about this. He doesn't fear anything. Oh shit, she straight up died while I was reading all that dialogue. That dialogue. It wasn't even dialogue, it was like analytics. Well, that's why I bought a bunch of uh, goblets. Goblet of fire. And she back. Means his weapon skill up. Whip reaches level six. Good, I just got an orb for that. Yo, this is the thing I was talking about, I'm pretty sure. This is that crazy subway station. You'll see it in a minute. Stop dying, oh my gosh. Um, She's getting hurt, like a lot. So maybe I should set her action grid to something that's like, stay a little bit away. Because she's using the whip. She doesn't need to be that close. Yeah, that's... That's not, uh... 100% necessary to be on full attack and full approach. So let's do this. Set her at level 1 whip skill. There we go. These creatures have just been living underwater for, like, all their lives, and they immediately adapted. When the water was drained? Because if- I don't know if you remember this, but this used to be the sunken continent, and it is no longer sunk. So presumably all of this stuff was underwater. And all these creatures are like, what, the water turned into land now? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's not dramatic. That's not a that's not a dramatic change to our environment in any way. You can easily adapt. Um Oh, there's a doorway. <laughs> I sorta of wanted to kill that enemy first, but whatever. Let's maybe ignore some enemies. Oh shit, I got exploder level five. Man, this this sword is so good. Look at how much damage that's doing. Just with level one attacks. Um, and before I open this treasure chest, I'm gonna use a chocolate on Hulk. And now chocolate will fit. Yeah, buddy. You like that call? I'm a genius. All right, don't get bombed by this duck. As a matter of fact, you should duck. I'm clever. You should subscribe to my channel and like this video. Level 3 attack! He dodged the whole thing. What is the point of the attack animation having multiple swings? If... If... If all they need to do is dodge the first one, and then they've successfully dodged the entire attack. Or any of them at all. Alright, that's enough of that. Yo, escalators? Better than stairs. Haha, -ha, I went the wrong way on the escalator. Oh, this guy, I'm pretty sure, drops a treasure chest. Or maybe I'm thinking of... Maybe I'm thinking of, like, the fiend head on the actual Mana Fortress? Yeah, that guy probably... I think that... I was about to say, I think that guy drops, like, the amulet ring or something really fucking good. Um, but I might be thinking of a different enemy. Alright, alright, so what do I do here? Look, you can clearly see that this door is closed. Did I miss something? 
I think there's a switch I was supposed to have hit. Yeah, that, yeah, it looks like something over there. Okay, okay. There was a secret passageway that the ancient uh, civilization knew about when they, you know, took the subway. I keep calling it a subway, and you're like, you're probably like, why are you calling it that? It is not in any way a subway. But hold on. Or, I don't know, maybe you played this game and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, just, just, yeah, this makes it much easier. Ah. I feel bad for that bird. 624 damage is no joke. Unless that is a joke to him, I don't know. Maybe it's a running joke for him. Um, do I go into this room first? I'm not even sure. Let's see what's in here. What? What are you... What are you doing here? Oh, just... You know, trying to make some money. Which one's ready? Um, matter of fact, I got a boomerang's orb. I have 69,000 gold. Frizz bar? It's like a frisbee, but uh, not a copyrighted word or a trademarked word. Okay, so... Let's see what these weapons do. Frizz bar. Effective against some shit. What else did I get? This slows enemies down. Yeah, these enemies need to slow the fuck down. <gasps> Humans! Keep going, we'll secure this place. Yeah, you're doing great. Everyone okay? Take care of yourselves. Here's a little boost. Oh shit, I got my HP MP back. Or did I just get my HP back? But either way, that's nice of her to do that. Yeah, no MP back. Still, you know, she helped us out for free. Which is... which is nice. It's really the thought that counts. And the HP that I got back. Okay. Memes is charging her level 1 attack. So she's going very slowly right now. I, I'm kind of mad that I'm not running into another basilisk so that I can manipulate that drop. But maybe I'll try that at the end of the episode or something. If I get a chance to go back and see one. But, um, oh yeah, you can't go up that knee-high wall, because none of our characters can jump unless they're doing like a level 1 or 2 technique like this. But, you know, they can't do it on command. This guy is probably not worth my time. I don't know why I keep trying to fight these dudes. But, like, at this point, I probably got him down to, like, uh, two-thirds of his health, so... Might as well finish him off. I missed with the level two attack. Alright, more crits from the Masamune, please. He just dodged. He just fucking dodged it. I hate how often enemies dodge in this game. It's insane. Yeah, there are a lot of parts of this game that just aren't good. <laughs> Like, a lot of the boss mechanics are are flaky and weird, you know? It's like, it's like one of the first bosses you fight is this weird bird with long legs, and it's like impossible to hit him with physical attacks, you know? And like, I understand that some bosses should be like, oh, you know, you're supposed to use magic, but like... I don't think it should be impossible to hit them with physical attacks. I am exaggerating a little bit. It's not impossible, but it's really, really picky to the point where it just doesn't make sense, you know? This guy can get the gem missile, like, every time. Because I found out that will insta-kill him. Yo, jump down this wall, it's fun! Oh, I think there's, like, a weird thing coming up here with, like, a color pattern? I keep talking about stuff that's gonna happen, but not about stuff that is happening. All right. Maybe I'm thinking of a different area. All right, I'm sort of done with these metal enemies that just take forever to kill. This guy, on the other hand, is a metal enemy that doesn't take forever to kill, so I'm just gonna push him along as I go. 
<laughs> and he doesn't have too much HP. Alright, I'm gonna absorb MP from Kimono Wizard. And then kill him. With gems. Oops. He didn't cast it. He didn't cast Gem Missile. Did I go the wrong way or something? What is this? What is happening here? I'm... I'm not sure what this device is or why it's pushing me back like this. Do I... hit it with magic? What do I do here? Because, like, otherwise I'm trapped, you know. Oh, I, you have to stand in the middle. I don't remember, like, any of this, okay? I do remember the thing about the subway, though. It's coming up. I promise. I don't promise. Maybe that's a weird fever dream that I had, and I'm remembering something that doesn't actually exist. But I'm gonna try to promise, if that makes sense. Damn, a hundred damage for this dude. Okay, yeah, yeah, here's that color pattern thing that I was talking about. And like, if I had to guess, I'd say it's green, this one, blue, red. I don't think that was it, but... Oh, wait a second. Okay, obviously red is the beginning. Because it gave me two correct noises in a row. Look, so... If I hit anything else, it's like, oh, nope, that wasn't it. But this is like, yep, yep, you got it. And it's easy to figure out in that case, but also I think if I were to continue in a different direction, someone straight up tells me the pattern. Like, just in case you're really dumb and you cannot figure it out. Shoutouts to you if you're really dumb and you can't figure it out. But I believe in you. I love that I paused the animation to that attack while I hit the switch for a second. Kaboom! That didn't kill all three of them. That's fine. I'll use all sorts of magic. Trash reaches level 43. Good for you, Trash. Um, Fierce Head is tangled. Alright. I guess I'll go this way, because this seems to be the only way I can go. Dark Knight got absolutely bopped there. Uh, I'm going to steal some MP real quick, and then kill him with magic. Hulk, Hulk's magic skill went up. Oh boy, Luna reaches level 1. Now I can steal magic! Alright, I don't care about these enemies. Let's go. She's engulfed. You know what? I'll use... Oh, I can't? I thought I could heal that with a medical herb. Maybe she... Maybe she got healed... Maybe the status effect ended right as I was about to heal her. Well, let's forget about these enemies. I already forgot about them. Am I going around in circles? I'm not sure if I'm going the right way right now. Yeah, this will bring me back to the room with the spots on the floor? Or nah. Okay, dude. I'm getting pretty excited about all the enemies and the fun that we're having. Yeah, okay, so... I think I opened up a door somewhere, but I, like, don't remember where it was. So I made another loop around, and that's fine. Um... Yeah, like, I don't think I even need to come this way. What is that? 
Well, we definitely need to go into this door that we opened with the color problem. Right? That makes sense to me. And then what did that switch do? Could we go this way before? This looks like it's going back. Yeah, I've hit that switch already. So what am I missing? Well, maybe I do need to try that other path that I thought I did not need to try. Oh, what's this? Nothing? I can't actually go this way. Makes sense to me. Slime? I haven't seen that guy in a while. Okay, um, I'll figure things out for certain. Alright, forget it. Hulk, just don't even... yeah, alright. So let's try going this way and see what I can find. I don't know what this is, but it looks suspicious. Uh, and I probably haven't been here before. Right? This all looks different. Like, this color pattern... I don't recognize it. Alright, I, I am getting a little bit backed up here. Like, I'm sorta of lost. But I'm not at a loss for words, so let's go. I don't know if I was supposed to go this way. Yeah, this all looks familiar. Why are the colors different? Am I crazy, or was it not this bright before? Yeah, I've definitely been down this hallway, like, a couple times. And then here's the room with the thing. Now it's suddenly different. No. Like, I swear it got brighter, though. All right, all right, all right, all right. Where the fudge do I go? Oh, here's another Dark Stalker, huh? If I could get another pair of ninja gloves from this guy, that'd be pretty neat. Oh shit, he hit me with the boomerang. Um, you know what? I bet I can kill him with Lucid Beam. Yeah, I kind of figured that out last episode. Not last episode. That was a while ago. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Uh, I need to heal, like, immediately. Damn! That guy fucked me up! He hit super hard. Well, I hit him hard as well. Okay, so... I don't know if I need to go this way. Did it change back? Did the colors change back? Like, what's going on? I cannot figure out where to go. And these enemies are super annoying. Let's get out of here. Come on. Like, I don't know what this is. Or if it's important. Or if I should ignore it. Um, have I gone this way yet, though? This looks new. No, this just brings me back to... the people who are gonna heal me. Well, I might as well go back and get my HP. Chrissy, can you help? Everyone okay? Take care of yourselves. Here's a little boost. Here's a, some little boots. Maybe I do need to go this way. 
I took the wrong escalator, that's for sure. Okay, this area looks new. Alright, so this is basically just to the right of, um... Like that area where... Where we found Chrissy and they healed us. I just kept going right a bunch, and I made it over this way. Should I maybe farm some ninja gloves here? That would be dope. That would be pretty dope if I could do that. Um, I don't want to waste her MP though. So instead, I will waste hulks. Freeze level 2, get him. I have level 2 magic at this point. Alright, let me, let me actually try to manipulate one more drop. I swear I won't be too annoying with this. Hey, there we go. Oh boy, I think I got him. I think I just saw. But I got another pair of ninja gloves that I will equip. Yeah, baby, that I will equip on memes. Let's go this way. Hey, we made it! We made it to the subway, which is everyone's favorite part of any city. Look, there's a subway car. There's a subway train. And we will enter it on the left side without a pass? Oh my gosh, there's like a whole bunch of undead people in this subway. And they're simply glowing. I don't know why they are doing that. Um... But I'm guessing that all these people fucking died when the continent went underwater like a bunch of years ago. Ghoul gets whacked. I just one-shotted that guy with a crit. These enemies are... It's refreshing that I can, like, hit them easily and they go down fast. So I don't have to kill these guys. Like, for all I know, these are pretty low-level enemies. But I like doing things like this, okay? I don't know why they're glowing like that. As if they're about to cast a spell that they just never finish. Or start. But yeah, like, it's weird how many open seats there are. This is crazy. Also, it's sort of strange that there's just a subway. <gasps> a treasure chest? I hope it's more ninja gloves. Candy won't fit. You know what? I should have eaten one beforehand. Poor Hulk. Yes! Sugar! It's the only sustenance I've had. All gain. Um... Oh shit, Earth Slide level 7? Damn, I got rocked, literally. I didn't mean to make a joke there, but it happened. What happened? Holy shit, I got destroyed. Like, just everyone in my party took like 250 damage right there. So, I'm panicking. Uh, can I get out of here? Holy shit, what hit me that hard? I'm glad I bought all those Angel Grails, that is, Cup of Wishes, because goddamn, it is hard to survive when enemies just like randomly one-shot you. Um, I'm gonna fire these dudes. Actually, you know what? Let's analyze. Let's analyze Shapeshifter. And then fire them. No, I'll wait. I'll wait for the results. What does it say he fears? He's tangled. Alright, he doesn't fear- Oh shit, this guy's gonna kick my ass though. Let's try using gem missile on all of them. Lucid Barrier 7? Eggplant Man's Tangle. This was the guy that like just almost wiped my whole party, so I think I'm gonna leave. Or maybe it was that weird hedgehog, but either way, I'm not taking any chances. This guy's powerful too. So I don't wanna I don't wanna fuck around with his boomerangs. And I have to keep my HP up now. Haha, -ha, Darkstalker! I have the gloves that you gave me, and that's why I'm so powerful. Shit. There we go. He got whacked. Well, he dropped a treasure chest, so this is happening. Oh boy, now I got three pairs. Now I got three pairs of ninja gloves. 
Uh, no, it sort of cheapens it when you, like, manipulate the drop, but... Uh, you know, look how cool this is! We're all coordinated and shit. Anyway, it's super difficult to manipulate drops when there are enemies on the screen. Especially annoying ones that just, like, don't fucking die. I don't know why that duck has so much HP. But I guess he's a general, and that's why they made him the general. Is there something in here I need to hit? What's going on? There we go. I think I just hit a switch. Or at least I made something explode in the distance. God damn it. There's more maze? Let's get out of here. Yo! I jumped down a huge gap there. Alright. Let's leave him alone. Let's leave him alone. Um, what's in here? <gasps> this character again. Hey, you. You! Yes, it is us. I did some nosing around. Seems this kid is the legendary knight. I could've... you could've asked. Ha ha! What a joke. How could you be found to have that blade? What? Did I just say? Yeah, that's the dialogue. We're gonna be rich, boss. Shut up and go get it. Okay. Super Special Deluxe Robot Type 2 with Turbo. <gasps> Kettlekin? Yo, it's got Turbo this time. I love how every time we meet a character, they're like, uh, we're gonna suddenly disappear, and then there's a monster that we'll leave behind to fight you. And that's why I really feel like the enemy characters in this game just, like, don't matter at all. Alright, he doesn't fear anything. So, I guess that means any magic will work, right? No, sometimes they have resistances that they don't tell you about. Well, no reason to stop using gem missile, unless... Okay, I thought he was about to wall there. Okay, he took 11 damage. He took 11 damage from that spell. <gasps> My level 6 attack is so bad, I forgot about that. Pretty much every level 6 attack for uh, whatever weapon you want to use. Um... It's just like your character spins around with their weapon, and it's hard to hit with. Okay, I'm gonna use Lunar Boost or whatever I just gave myself, because it seems like a decent ability. Never mind. Um, shit, I don't have any healing except for items now. Oh, crap. Am I out of uh, Angel Grails, too? Because that would suck. I am. As a matter of fact, I am. Okay, I gotta play this flawlessly, then. That's okay, I have a whip. Um, should I bother saving Hulk? No, I've only got one chocolate. I will use it on memes. Hulk, you're doing great. Actually, maybe I'll use one more spell. I haven't used any of these Dryad spells, so let's use something that's just gonna, like, keep him busy for a second. One. One damage. Well, I killed him. I killed him, and I clutched it out in a very sticky situation. So, that's a relief. Man, that was annoying to get here and do all of the secret of mana-ing. But at least I beat this boss. Way to go. Yeah, I feel proud, also. Got bows, orb. And we'll never see these characters again. Probably too strong. He's the real knight. What idiot said he wasn't the knight? Let's scram. I don't know. Yeah. That's dialogue that is cohesive and easily followed. Anyway, I'm going to save the game here and call that an episode. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching this part of Secret of Mana. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Who would have thought? Not me.